guys, Kamo here once again, and um, this is going to be a quick uh, example of how to make the uh, minecart selection uh, redstone module without the pistons. A um, couple things. First of all, uh, I've been having a lot of issues signing into Minecraft lately. Um, usually it takes me a good five or ten minutes of trying over and over and over before it lets me sign in. Um, so rather than do that today, I just decided to play offline, so that's why it says unlicensed copy. Um, and I'm good old Steve instead of Kalmir. Um But uh, that shouldn't stop me from being able to show you how to make this. Uh, the second thing I'm going to say is I'm going to go ahead and divide this into two parts. The first part's going to be explaining how each of the modules work um, for those that are interested in actually learning how the redstone works. For those that are just wanting to see how to build the module uh, quickly and simply, um, I'm going to put a link that'll skip you to the second half of the video. Um, and then that'll just be uh, me just building it really quickly with just the uh, detailed information that you need. So if you're interested in seeing how these modules work, uh, go ahead and stay tuned. If you are just wanting to see how to build the module, uh, go ahead and click the link and that'll forward you through uh, my video. Alright, so I, um, I'll go ahead and get started. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start with uh, basically RS NOR latches, and to build this, and another torch. Okay, so we have three blocks that go left, right, left, uh, unless you're looking at it from the other way. Uh, a torch in between these two blocks, two dust coming out of the bottom one, one dust coming out of the top, and then a torch in the back. So this is an RS NOR latch. If we click one it turns the torch on if we click the other it turns the torch off so you have two inputs but it saves um, which one you clicked last all right and now if we put two of these next to each other obviously the redstone's going to mix and stuff so we can't do that so let's see and i'm going to basically i'm just going to re repeat uh, rebuild that first one on the back, two dust on the bottom, one dust on top. Alright, so there's an exact copy. Um, clicking the top one turns it on, clicking the bottom one turns it off. Okay, um, as you can see if we put these two together the redstone's going to mix, so we don't want that. So in order to uh, make it so that you can put these side by side, we're going to extend this one a little bit. So we're going to have blocks coming down like that. So three extra blocks, one, two, three. We're going to run our redstone dust back up it, and then we need to also replace our torch. Okay, now when it's like this, um, it doesn't work. And the reason for that is because what we need is this dust to activate when this dust activates. And obviously it's going down that way, so it's not going to work. But this dust charges this block so if I put a repeater here, it should work now. Off, on. So now we can put one of those right next to this one. Like this, go ahead and put my buttons on. Uh, let's see, one on top, two across the bottom, and a torch in the back. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the wire down here is crossing, so to fix that we're just going to remove that and put another repeater. So now there, each line runs independently. Also up here as you can see that wire is crossing, so we'll just throw a block on top of it. So now we have two independent RS NOR latches. So this design is based off of this module. Um, this module includes two RS NOR latches. This is one module two RS NOR latches. Um, so from here we want our outputs to come out. So what we're going to do is put a block there. So this torch would activate this dust. Okay. So if I put a redstone torch here, it turns it off. And then we can do the same thing with the other one. If we turn this one off, it also turns that torch off. So these are our outputs. 
So you can go that way, and then this one can go that way. If you have a third one, you can come out on this side. If you have four, you'd have to work with it a little bit, but there you go, that's our output. If I were to select this one, that output would light up. If I was to turn this off and turn this one on, this output would light up. However, this is very inconvenient to have to sit there and toggle the buttons like that. So, rather than using buttons, we're going to raise ourselves up uh, two spaces, and we're going to hide it so that one button activates and then deactivates each, or deactivates and then reactivates each of our lunch. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is build a platform that is too high like that. So th this will actually, uh, when we make this, we'll actually dig this underground. So that when we run up, um, we're only going to have one button. So to do this, make sure I've got this right. Uh, like that. Okay. So again, we're going to have our reset line. And so we're going to dig out the first section like that. And we would have our redstone dust going across like that. Um, to deactivate all of them, we're going to put repeaters like that. So when we click a button that is placed here, it activates those and turns everything off. No matter how many modules, up to 15, it'll turn all of them off. Oops. Okay. But we also want to turn on the one that's behind the button we pressed. So to do that, put a block like that. Whoops. And this one has to be delayed because it has to turn them all off first and then it has to keep this one on. So I'm going to set that to three ticks. So now, um, you can see that one's on. If I build the exact copy, block, block, button, repeater, oops, set to three ticks. Okay. So this one's on. If I hit the button, you'll see it'll turn off and then it'll turn back on because it always resets them and then turns on one. Um, okay. Maybe it doesn't turn that off. Well, that switched it. You can see the redstone dust back there is on. That one's off. Now it's on. Okay. So my mistake, it turns all of them on and then it turns the one off that you want. So, so again, you would repeat this module and uh, we also want to di uh, display so we know which one's activated. So I'm going to build this wall up two more like that. Okay, so to, to get this to work, I'm going to put a torch here and that's uh, lit by the one that's underneath it. We're going to cover these with blocks. So these blocks are now charged based off the, ch the, um, the torches below them. And then we're going to send power through here. And this can be alternated like that. And we will put our torches above. Okay, so as you can see, that torch is lit, which means this destination is currently selected. Okay, so this is the entire module, this two section because you got left you've got the two different types of RS nor latches. This is uh the wider one. This is the one where we added the three steps, one, two, three. And then on the other side is the shorter side. Alright, so this is how everything works. Um I know it looks a little bit complicated, it looks like it could be a real pain, but uh building this um module by module is actually more complicated. If I build this all in one go, it's actually very quick and very easy. So um, that will be the next part of the video and I will be right back. Okay guys, um, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build the destination selector. Uh, again, this was originally found on the Minecraft forums, um, but again it's one of those things where it's a lot easier to watch someone build it in 3D than look at it uh, in 2D. So uh, I will show you how to build this. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and dig yourself a small area. Um, this is too deep. This f too deep area is seven, and then this step is would be your eighth block. 
uh, and this is also where your wall would be. Uh, I needed four buttons, so I'm going to go four across. And then this fifth one is just an access tunnel to make it easier to hop in and out of this. Uh, you might not need that if you're building this on the surface. And uh, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to start oops, our reset line going across like that. And we're going to have our wall built on top of that. Now, the wall is going to be three high uh, for a button, a sign, and a torch. So your buttons would be across the middle, I'm sorry, across the bottom. Signs would be across the middle saying where each destination leads to, and then your signal torches would be across the top. And let's see, one moment. Sorry about that, had to clear my throat real quick. Um, so this button not only react, uh, activates the reset line, but we also need it to send a signal to the top of our RS, uh, RS NOR latches as well. So we're going to have the reset line is going to activate these across the bottom. We're going to have blocks going across above those. And then we're going to have RS NOR latches, I'm sorry, uh, repeaters across the top too. And these top ones have to be set to the third tick like that. Okay, so there's our input from the buttons. Now we do our RS NOR latches, uh, which is a block on the bottom with a torch on top. Oops. Uh, we're also going to have a block on top of these torches and we're going to have a line of torches across that as well. And then the third block for our RS NOR latches came across like that. Now from this part it's going to get a little different. Um, we have to alternate repeaters here as well as the redstone dust. And then we're going to put a line, um, this is going to be our output line. Uh, we're going to have the row of blocks with the row of torches, redstone torches. Now for this part, uh, anywhere that there's redstone dust you're going to put a torch above it, like that. Anywhere that there's a repeater you're going to add the stairs like that. So uh, if you watch the other part of my video, there's the three steps, one, two, three, that extended our RS NOR latches. Uh, so we're going to run dust from the top torch down to the bottom torch, and we're going to do the same thing on this one. And lastly, we need a, a dust here, but it's going to connect to these, so we're going to just simply put a block above it and same thing on this side and put a block above it. Alright, and so now we need these torches on the top to feed the torches on the top of our wall. So to do that we're going to put a block in front of the torches or above the repeaters there and we're also going to put a block on top of each torch. Okay, so if the torch is off, this block is getting no power, but if the torch is on, it's going to send the block above power, and then we're going to transfer this power into that block in front, and we can alternate dust and repeaters like that so the signals don't cross. Okay, now right uh, when you first build it, it's going to start off messed up, but once you press your first button, it's going to fix. Okay, so now all the torches are off except for the one above the button I pressed, and if we go to the back, you can see that's the only torch lit. If we select a different button, all the torches except for the second one is uh, off, and only the se second one on this side is on. So you would run these over to your tracks. Uh, again, you can build this as long as you want uh, up to 15, because eventually this dust right here which is your reset line. Um, if you push this one, it's not going to reach any further than 15 over this way. Um, but you can also kind of uh, work this a little bit if you want. You can uh, have it go like under a floor. Like this. Again, the limit is 15 uh, without using repeaters to extend the signal. So now if you built another set over here, um, now I'm not going to build the whole thing, but if you could imagine that there was a, another set over here, 
Okay, now right now this one is selected, but let's say I selected this one. All these torches would turn off except for that one. And as you can see, it also reset that side of the wall as well. So the reset line is the only thing that has to reach across all of them. Uh, so you can do this any way you want. You can have a straight line or you can have some on either side. The other thing with having them on either side is you have four outputs way over here and you have four outputs way over here. So that can kind of cause a little bit of issue, um, you know, trying to rewire all your tracks, but there's the option there if you want it. Anyway, so uh, if you learned something new or you found this interesting, please uh, give my videos a thumbs up and subscribe. And in the meantime, I will see you in my next video.